All the Old Knives is another movie on Prime Video with Chris Pine in it, which... <laughs> Ooh, after The Contractor, I came in with fairly low expectations. I didn't know anything about the movie itself. I just knew it was another movie with Chris Pine. And I love Chris Pine, but um, Amazon isn't handling properties very well. They're kind of like um, Paramount Plus, who I also don't think is doing very good. So I was a little iffy, and I have to say, I actually thought it was really good. Now, it wasn't necessarily groundbreaking but it was a different pace than most spy thrillers nowadays and i think that that's what kept my interest because it it focused more on the story and i think it's actually based on a book which could be why it is very story driven <laughs> get it nope i gonna move on but this story is good it was interesting it was engaging it kept me on my toes and kept me thinking I was concerned for the well-being of the characters not just because the actors did phenomenally which I think that they did do really well but because the writing sold it it was written well it wasn't force feeding you information and declaring it as fact it was letting you think about the situations the characters are in the thoughts they could be feeling the emotions that they have it let you think about all of that as it built the mystery so it wasn't just a mystery in the movie itself it wasn't just a mystery in the story but it was a mystery to you too on whether or not people are being truthful whether or not people are being real because even the way people felt could have been manipulated at points it could have been used as a tactic to cover things up or as an, a tactic to extort information everything felt like it mattered every little detail felt like it was important to build the characters themselves and there wasn't too many characters either that was a problem i thought it was going to have because it started showing you all these people and i thought it was just like ramping up the suspect list for lack of a better word but it wasn't there were other characters but they weren't integral to the story and they weren't shoved in as if they were you knew while you were watching the movie who was important you knew that the background characters the characters that are there still have a purpose but they're not forced into the screen for just the sake of having somebody else that you could be suspicious of they existed for a reason but the two main characters or at least i perceived them as the two main characters was chris pine's character henry and tandy way newton's character celia they did phenomenally when they were first on the screen i kind of thought that they were a little bit generic on here i thought that it was kind of deadpan feeling but i think that could have been biased due to the fact that i didn't have any high expectations for this movie because by the end they sold it and they sold it well i cared about both their characters so much i wanted both of them to succeed i wanted both of them to be happy and i didn't want this ending to tear them apart they were love interests for some of the movie but not the entire thing and i don't i want to get into it i do but i'm not going to in this one i am going to have a spoiler review for this i didn't plan on it until just now but i'm gonna do it because there's a lot of things in here i do feel like i need to talk about but for the most part without spoilers they had really good chemistry the way that they responded to each other and the way they reacted to the situation and the environment surrounding them was really good but to get into the plot a little bit more because i am worried about spoiling something but at the same time i feel like i need to talk about something to convey what i'm trying to say here the plot is there is a flight that gets attacked by terrorists and it goes wrong in some way shape or form it doesn't i mean it's already going wrong when it gets attacked by terrorists don't get me wrong but it gets worse and chris pine's character gets sent out to investigate years pass but the case isn't closed they need a scapegoat essentially so he has to go out and he has to figure out if there was a mole if there was a rat if somebody said or did something that screwed everything up so that's his job he goes and he talks to his old co-workers and he asks them about events and how things unfolded from their perspective in order to build a case for or against them. I am aware that that plot doesn't break any boundaries. It doesn't really push any doors forward for something new in the mystery thriller genre, but it doesn't have to. 
because it does what it does and it does what it does well. Not everything needs to be a genre defining masterpiece. And for this, taking the plot of a book that I now really want to read and making it into a movie that doesn't feel like it's overstaying its welcome, that doesn't feel like it's taken out a bunch of parts, which I don't know if it has or not, but it doesn't feel like it's disrespecting the source material. Like it feels like it's a full package. Is it? I guess I'll find out, but it doesn't feel like it's missing anything. So if you want a slow, methodical, action-heavy character drama, spy thriller like this, give it a watch. It's not action-y. This is not James Bond. This isn't Mission Impossible. If you go in with that mindset, boy, you're going to be disappointed. The only things that could be considered action-y, they're just more violent and they're pretty much off screen. So don't go in expecting this to be the next Tom Cruise movie because it's, it's not going to do it for you. But for what it is, for the personal relationships between the characters, I feel like this is worth watching. I recommend if you want to watch a Prime Video movie or you just want to watch a new Chris Pine movie, this will do it. Thank you.